Happy Sabbath to all our members and especially to our visitors. So let me say it. Happy Sabbath. Happy oh, yes? Sabbath. <laughs> Let's do that again. Happy Sabbath to all our members. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to all our visitors. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, if you're visiting with us for the first time, let me see by a show of hands or your second time, or your third time by a show of hands. Oh, I see. I see a hand or two going up there. Just want to say welcome, welcome. To, our, to our divine service. And I hope you have a wonderful experience. Our theme for today is Forever I Do. And what does this actually mean? Vow renewals are a great way to rekindle the love of a relationship. Vow renewals reaffirm couples of each other's promises and acts as a flashback of the wedding day itself. This recommitment is for however everyone. All of us in our relationship with God, maybe through communion, some even go as far as being rebaptized, do a renewal of something, especially when it means a lot to us. But renewals are also proven to be very healthy. Just allow in all things that we are guided by the Holy Spirit. A vow is a renewal. A vow renewal is a ceremony of celebration and recommitment where a married couple reaffirms their marriage, vows to each other. This is not a wedding ceremony. This vow in, in establishes what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. A reminder of the four elements of marriage, trust, respect, accountability, intimacy. And for today, the participants of the program will be, after we're done here, we'll have the praise team, they'll take over from us, and then we'll have Pastor Keneal Morgan will do the prayer. We have Brother and Sister Moncrief. They will do the stewardship focus. We have Brother Hay that will do a special song. We have we, Brother, um, Brother Hay and company. and company will be doing the special Brother for Hay us today. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and then we have uh, Brother and Sister Walters will be doing the scripture reading. We have Pastor Ramon Phoenix. He, should be, he will be doing the, the ceremony, the um, charge, 
and we have our, our very own Pastor Kamara Douglas will be the, do the dedication prayer and then we will end. And I just want to say, if there's a married couple in the congregation at this time, you're not seated here, you want to take part in this program to be a part of this renewal of vow, you're welcome to join us. What God, God has joined together, together let no, no man, man put, put asunder. asunder. Thank you very much, Anderson. Indeed, God has brought us to a day as this, in which we highlight the wonderful blessing that God has given us from creation. As Seventh-day Adventists, we are called to be the repairers of the breach. And the breach comes to us from the Garden of Eden. There are a number of things that the devil attacked in the Garden of Eden that brought sin into this world. And the two major ones that as a church we focus a lot on is the idea of the Sabbath, which is God's um, sign of creative act that he alone is God and he made this world and the other is marriage those two institutions are important to God and it's fitting that we have gathered here on the Sabbath day to celebrate marriage now I must say that as a church we are not naive that families do have issues and it's kind of hard sometimes when two persons from different backgrounds, uh, different personalities are trying to come together and trying to make it as one. And because we know that this is so, we strongly believe that having a function like this will help to bring that cohesive nature within uh, the couples and remind uh, those who are married and those who are thinking about marriage, uh, how they should prepare themselves uh, for this. If you're online, thanks for watching on our YouTube channel. And of course, you too can participate in this service. Uh, make sure that your spouse is right beside you and that we are renewing those vows. By the way, let me just say this, because this is the international thing that we're doing. As Seventh-day Adventists, we believe that a marriage is only between a man and a woman. We make no apologies for our beliefs and our faith. That's what God did in creation and that's what we will hold to. And therefore, we continue to support this kind of uh, union that brings forth life, meaning, and peace. So we welcome all the couples who are here. Um, my wife could not be here. My son is preaching for you today at another church. And they have gone, you know, she had to carry him there because he can't drive. He's still, you know, underage. So she's there with him. But she sends her love and her regard. As we are here, we also are expecting to have Pastor Ramon Phoenix. He serves as uh, the pastor for the Gregor Park of Churches. He also serves as the parish coordinator for the part of St. Catherine. And he also works as a volunteer chaplain with the Jamaican Constabulary Force. Pastor Phoenix is a very dynamic preacher. And you'll find that he has tremendous amount of energy. Um, a lot of energy when he preaches. And we know that God is going to use him mightily to bless the couples who are here. Bless the entire congregation who is here. That we can glorify God and praise his name. Let me just say. Let me just say. If you feel left out, because you're here in church and you're not married, and you say, what is this service for? I have nothing to gain from this service because I am not seated in the first five rows here. Let me just explain to you that this is still a worship session. Amen? We will still study God's word. Amen? We will still, still praise this to him and participate in the act of stewardship. So it's still worship that we're here for, and every single person will be blessed as we glorify God and praise his high and matchless name. So may God continue to be with us 
And of course, may our hearts be in tune with him as we give him all honor, all glory, and all praise. Happy Sabbath as God lead us into a season of worship. omnipotent one, the holy one with Calvary's scars, the great I am, the rock of all ages. To you all majesty is ascribed and we crown you Lord of all. We are happy today because this is the day that you have blessed. We are happy because we are in your courts to worship to praise and magnify your name. And we're happy because you are our God. You are the one who made us. We didn't make ourselves. So we thank you for being our God. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful occasion you have called us to, where we can reflect on the unity, the bond that you have created between humanity and as we reflect on this bond, Lord, we pray that the deeper sense of reflecting on the bond with you would be more realized in our hearts. Help us, O oh God, to keep the union of marriage as we keep the union of our relationship with you. Strengthen our resolve, our deep resolve to constantly look unto you, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Be with the remaining portion of the service as we continue to give you all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remain standing for the opening hymn. Hymn 655, Happy the Home.
Sabbath, church. Happy Sabbath, church. It is now time for praise and worship. And we have our beautiful couples up here. Beautiful wives and handsome husbands. And we're feeling the love in the air, right? And that is why we're starting with our first song, Hymn 652, Love at Home.
Everybody know this song.
Sabbath, everyone. At this time, we'll worship God with our tithes and our offering. I will ask the persons to stand in their places, persons who are collecting tithes and offering, the deaconesses. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are so thankful for the past six days. You have given us strength to work, dear Father, so we can give back a portion of what we have made. Father, this morning I ask that you would bless every person in the sanctuary that have to give and those, dear Father, that have not. I pray, Lord, that you will make a way for them. Father, mostly I ask that you will help us to realize that we should not just give financially, but we should uh, give our heart all the way to you. I ask that you will step down in this place this morning. Be with every person, dear Father, that is online. And Lord, take full control of this proceeding, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So you can, those are persons online and those in the sanctuary, you will be reminded about the different ways you can give by observing the screen. Faithful stewards is a matter of the heart. We don't give to receive love and blessings from God. We give because the love already we give because we have already received God's love and blessing. We give because our hearts and lives are full of joy. For the Lord, we give because we want to live out God's character of abundance, generosity, especially as exhibited through the giving of the ultimate gift, the gift of His Son. Giving is a natural response for a recipient of God's goodness. Of all the things 
things you ever said and did How you took the bread and fish and fed 5,000 All the gentle way you taught us how to live How you opened up the eyes of this blind man How you calmed the storms that raged inside of me How you filled the loneliness my heart was made of With the greatest joy this world has ever seen and it's all because you love me It's all because you do It's all because you love me How could I not love you? The shadows of this world are cast upon me And the darkness falls like curtains on my heart When I feel my life is somewhat like an island Drifting close to me but oh so far apart There is comfort knowing Just as close to me as calling out your name It's a miracle of love that lasts forever How oh, you keep me in your loving arms today And it's all because you love me It's all because It's all because you love me How could I not love you? It's all because you love me It's all because you do it's all because you love me How could I not love you? in the storehouse that there will be meat in my house and prove me now here we say the Lord of hosts and I'll not pour you out such an overthrown blessing that there be not room enough to receive it we give me birth night all what's in thy gifts may be all that we have is thy Happy Sabbath Church. The scripture reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 
John 5 from 21 to 22. Submit yourself one to another in the fear of God. Unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savor of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wife be to their own husband in everything. Husband, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourish it and cherish it, even as the Lord, the church. For we are members of his body and his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you part in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverent her husband here is the word of the lord amen If home is really where the heart is, then home must be a place we all can share. For even with our differences, our hearts are 
Amen. Mercy. That was a beautiful rendition. It captures today's program. And I was of the impression that I, I could just do the benediction and sit down because the song was so beautifully rendered. Happy Sabbath, everyone. I was not paying attention. Sister Anderson, I was calculating when I first came to Portmore Church. It was, so I was looking at the praise team. I'm saying probably some of them weren't born as yet. So they wouldn't know me. But I am happy to be able to register and to be identified with Sister Thompson. Amen. It was far back as 2000, I believe, 1999, 2000, 2001, I would come to Youth Fellowship. We used to have it upstairs. Some of you still remember, praise God. And then I had the privilege 16 years ago to serve as an assistant pastor to Pastor Neville Barrett. Right here, we had some good times. But I'm happy, Sister Phoenix and I, we are great. And the children are pleased to be here with you to celebrate this August occasion in November. To see the couples together. Sorry I didn't get to make it to see Ella Harris coming up with Sister Harris. But I'm happy that I'm here to share. I know that we're a people of time and eternity. So you're not watching the clock. But at the appropriate time, I will ask the couples to stand and face each other. And I will be walking you through your vows. And that which the, the vows is not an abbreviated or an adjusted vows to suit the occasion. Because I want the message today is for those who are not yet married. Those who are parents and those who are married. Amen. So when we get to the vows, I want those who are not yet married to have an idea. When their time comes, what it will be like. Amen. So I invite you to turn your Bibles with me to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5. Reading verse 32. And while you are searching for it, I want to take the opportunity to congratulate your church pastor, your senior pastor, amen, Dr. Douglas, on his achievements. And I want you to know that as pastors here in St. Catherine, we are proud of him. And he has somewhat created history in, in the Inter-American Division where we have a minister of religion becoming a medical doctor. Commendations, Pastor Douglas, Dr. Douglas, and, and your wife and children because they would have had to be there to give him the support, you know. Amen. I believe it was well done. Commendations. And I also want to recognize Pastor Cornel Morgan. He and I went to the same high school, so I don't want him to charge me. Amen. But it is good to see him. Good to see him. And for the work, I must say that... We believe that he has been doing a wonderful job 
with the deaf church. And I want to put